Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel, the Gentleman of Viewer. As always, please hit that like and subscribe button and continue to help my channel grow. So this week I've got some of my favorite gel pens that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. This is the Zebra Sarasa Dry Line. Um, specifically it's the ones that have the X series in front of them. So I only did these four. There's a couple other dry ones out there that you can get. Um, but I wanted to just focus on these four. Um, I find that I tend to write too much when I have too many pens to review, so I didn't want to just have an extra long blog post. But while I was reviewing for this, I was surprised to find very few to almost no reviews on these pens. Um, <clears throat> I'm surprised by that because Sarah Sa is is one of, or is becoming to be, one of the better gel pen lines out there and most noticeable. I'm starting to see them at Target, at Walmart, um, along with the G2 pens, which is probably, I would argue, the most popular gel pen out there. So, one, one problem with gel ink across the board that you'll find is that it just tends to dry fairly slowly. I only tested the G2, and I tested up to 15 seconds, and it was drying, it wasn't even dry at 15 seconds on my Loistrum dot pad. This would dry in about five seconds. There was still a little bit of a smear, um, but just at the very, very end of where I was writing. So that's pretty, that's significantly faster than the G2 and is going to be good for, I don't know if it'd be great for a left-hander because you're still going to end up, you know, depending on how fast you're writing, I can't do it with my left hand, but depending on how fast you're writing, you're still going to end up with your palm running across the paper in five seconds. So, all right, so let's dive into these pens. So I'm not going to dive in too much into the individual grips or the construction because the grips are all latex rubber. Each of them have a different style grip, so I'll go into the style. But as far as the construction goes, all of these are latex rubber, and then all the pen bodies are plastic. One critique I did have across the board are the pen clips. So you can see it's just a ring of plastic on each of them, and then the clip is attached directly to the plastic. I'm assuming it's injection molded, because you're going to have a hard time getting a shape like that any other way that I can think of, but I'm also not an engineer. So please let me know if I'm wrong. Um, I just think that that's, you know, the G2, I broke every single pen clip on those that I had. Um, so there's that. Also, one nice thing, they all take the same refill. So I'll dive into this here in a minute, but um, the X20 is the only one that comes with uh, 0.5 and 0.1. And so if you really like the 0.5, which I do, all the others only come in 0.7, at least right now from what I could find. So if you really like another pen in this line, um, you'll just have to buy a 0.5 refill from the X20 series. <clears throat> but another thing I noticed, especially with the 0.7s, which are these three right here, the ink tends to gum up a little bit as I'm writing. So sometimes the line would end up being very, very thin, um, and it just wouldn't write very well. The X20 with the 0.5 refill, so that's the only difference, I didn't really seem to have that problem. And the 0.5 G2 is a pen that I grew up using. I think I used it all through just about all through high school, college, and graduate school, just because they're great and I love them. Um, but this one quickly replaced that as my favorite, just because the ink flows quite a bit more smoothly, it's a bit more vibrant, and it just feels better. And maybe I just like trying new things, but that's just me. So, these are the same, these are the JFLV style refills. They can be found in the new G350. Um, and their gel pens just write well as a whole. So, all right, so let's dive into each of the pens individually. So this is the Sarasa Dry X1. It's kind of odd looking. I mean, it's pretty flat across the board. It's got an ink window on the side, which is nice. You can't really see that. Maybe you can, there you go. Now you can see that. So you can see how much ink you have left. Again, the, fi the I mean, the finish is wearing off. The latex grip is fairly flat and isn't very contoured. I'm not a big fan of contouring on these anyway. I like it, but it's not like an, an end game that it doesn't have it. So you can see it's the dry X1. And I don't know, like I said, it's just not that great. Not my, not ideal. So kind of flat, nothing really exciting. 
Again, I'm worried that the clip is going to break off. Um, it works well. I mean, outside of the problems with the refill, I, I enjoyed using it. All right, so the X10 um, is probably the oddest looking pen in this group, to be honest. I mean, you've got this really large, I don't know if it's a finial or what I would call it, but it's just really large near the top. It's supposed to make it look professional with the chrome accents. I don't see that. I think it just looks corny, to be honest. Um, and Zebra doesn't often mess up stuff this bad. <laughs> so they're actually one of my favorite brands out there. Um, I really like their pens and especially their gel pens. But it's just oddly shaped. It's got a weird, almost conical, that conical shape on the body that kind of splits out right here. And then this weird bulbous grip. It is comfortable to write with, I'll say that. And I can write with it for a while. But the appearance of this is just kind of odd. The You've got vertical, or maybe the pen's like this. So you've got horizontal running stripes on, on the grip that do help with the grip and writing experience over time. Like I said, it's comfortable. It just looks really odd. And I don't think I'd prefer something like this. So that's my complaint on that. The X20, like I said before, this is my favorite of the group beyond the fact that it's the only one that comes default in a 0.5. And given it has the same refills, you can just swap it out. But I mean, this one's my favorite. It's just simple, not super sleek, but like I said, the simple design, it's appealing, it's clean. It looks a bit more professional than their attempt at it over here. Um, so, the grip is just very standard, but it's comfortable. All of these are a pretty hard latex, actually, one thing I forgot to mention. So they're not soft like you're gonna get on the soft alpha gel, Dr. Grip, whatever you want. Um, one thing that did happen, if I can find it on here, um, it did crack right there. So I don't know how that happened. Maybe I was screwing it on too tight, but I mean, it's pretty cheap plastic but you can get a Sarasot Grand and throw the 0.5 refill in it or something like that. I don't know. Because they're all going to have the same refills. Especially if you want... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Got a catch in my throat. Especially if you want the dry riding experience in the Grand. But, again, I'm worried about the clip breaking. The um, body is just fairly standard. It's got a very quick conical shape right at the bottom. And the tip broke. But beyond that, like I said, this is probably my favorite of the group. The X30 is a close second. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed writing with it. It is a 0.7. So I did run into some of the problems with the hard starts. The, um, what am I trying to say? I did run into a problem with the hard starts, the thin writing, jumping to the thick, gumming up a little bit, having to scribble around a little bit to get it to work well. But, you know, the pen shape is pretty good. Um, it's got a slight hourglass shape, which is accented by, you can see there's a cutout right there, um, where the brand name is, and then the grip, you could probably see, um, juts out a little bit in a convex shape, or am I wrong? I think I'm right. Con concave is where it goes in, convex is where it kind of bulbs out. Yep, convex. So I like it, it's comfortable to write with. Um, this one's kind of interesting in that the latex goes all the way up to there on the back. And it's kind of like at a 45 degree angle to the body of the pen. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's comfortable to write with. It's comfortable to use for longer writing sessions. It's not as comfortable as the X10, I'll say that. Um, but the grip just makes it look like crap. So beyond that, you know, they're great pens. Or the X30 is great. So the Sarasot line as a whole is probably my favorite line of gel pens. I discovered them, I think, within the last year, and they quickly became my favorite. I think the Sarasot Grand was the first I bought. I'm kind of having trouble remembering the order I bought those in off the top of my head. But it's just so smooth, vibrant ink, and you get the benefits of that kind of ink with the quick drying time in the dry series. So I don't know what they do but it dries pretty quick and has the same good qualities that we all cut, we've all come to love in a gel pen. Um, if you can get past the gumming up and you like the 0.7, great. If you don't, 
I'd say buy the X20, buy the refills in the 0.5 size, and just stick them in these ones, and you'll have some great pens. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.